All right, let's get a new lens today. What? Why? You ever wonder why lenses are so expensive? What could possibly go on in here that makes these things cost so much? Well, let's get to the bottom of it. Let's take this thing apart and figure out what's really going on. And I've never done anything like this before, so stick with me. Here we go. So some of you may or may not know that I am in fact an actual doctor of professional photography and I don't recommend doing this procedure yourself without of course the proper training or definitely not the tools to safely get this and see this through. In fact, don't, don't do this. Don't do this at all. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Don't do this. But let's dive in and uh, see what we see. So we're here trying to figure out why lenses are so expensive. And I'm going to be taking apart this relatively inexpensive Canon telephoto lens. And at first glance, you might not think there's actually a heck of a lot going on inside a lens. And if that's the case, you're definitely wrong. For the sake of time, I've sped this process up and I'll stop at the important parts to discuss just a few features and what might differ from a cheap lens to a more expensive lens. Of course, one of the main things that's going to determine a lens's worth is the quality of materials used, from plastic to metal, and of course the glass elements themselves are going to range hugely. Even this lens has 13 glass elements in 9 groups. Imagine the complexity of engineering that. And then throw in aperture adjustments, image stabilization systems, focusing motors. That all has to be in there somewhere. So the quality of materials is going to determine how long the lens lasts for. Things break down over time and with use. Plastic gears, for example, aren't going to last as long as metal ones. And let's talk about the glass itself. No doubt the most complex and expensive part of a lens. The glass elements are designed and engineered to incredible precision standards. And there are so many factors to this glass, including shape, type, light transmission, sharpness, how they deal with aberrations and distortion, reflection reduction, and don't forget the coatings. This is incredible technology, only getting better, and the more I research it, honestly, the more I can justify actually spending the money on a good lens when you see what actually goes into them. So we talked a bit earlier about some of the wear and tear that can happen in a lens. And as you can see here in this plastic sleeve, this is where some contact happens in the lens as you zoom, and you can actually see some scoring happening. Now over time, because it is plastic and it does wear down, this is going to result in the lens becoming just a bit looser and maybe not as accurate. And unfortunately this is inevitable as you use your equipment. Let's keep breaking this thing down as we get closer and closer to the heart of it. So you can really start to see just how many parts it actually takes to make a lens. It's pretty amazing. Overall, I was actually pretty surprised at how long this took me to take apart. But finally, I got to the core. So actually, this was just the part that housed most of the glass elements. And I think most of this was pretty much pressed together, so it meant me really having to hit it with a hammer to get in and see what was left, so this is where I left it. I think doing this definitely gave me a new appreciation and a lot more knowledge and understanding about what actually goes on in these things. It makes me want to learn more, and depending on where you are and what you do in this profession, you may not need hugely expensive lenses. The truth is, the vast majority of people really don't.
So there it is. There's our lens in a thousand pieces over there. I hope you learned something from it. It was pretty neat for me. I wanted to say a few things about lenses in general. And if you're looking to invest in a lens, definitely do your research. Find out what's most important for you. Every manufacturer is going to have different quality, different technology, different warranties. So it's up to you to figure out what is going to work best for your business or your hobby. If you're interested in a particular aspect of a lens, there's a million videos out there that can explain it a heck of a lot better than I ever could. So check those out and learn what you need to. So I wanted to surprise you, I'm actually going to be giving away this lens to one of you lucky guys as soon as I put it back together. All you got to do is hit that like and subscribe button, drop your questions and comments down below, and like always, make mistakes, be yourself, get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time guys.